Hey everyone, welcome back. Take a look at all of those cities on the back door of the van. Those are all the places that Jason Smith has traveled as he is launching this project to raise awareness for homelessness. And we also found you in the Five Hives. So thank you so much for coming here. Thank you for having me on today. I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. I want to get right down to the real question. Right. Which one of these cities has the nicest people in the country? <laughs> uh, well, today it's Seattle. Oh, okay. Today it's Seattle. Good answer, good answer. Good answer. Yeah. It's great. You started in Phoenix. Uh, you're, you're, you're from Washington, yes? I am, yeah. I'm from south of Olympia, from Centralia, actually. Okay, so what sparked the idea, hey, I want to raise awareness for homelessness and I want to see how kind people are and why this? Well, for the last 13 years, I've worked as a paramedic and I've always wondered what it would be like to be homeless. And so I decided that I was going to quit my job and live homeless for five to six months and travel the country just off the generosity of others, seeing how far you can go off the kindness, seeing how, car, uh, how kind we are to one another throughout the country, and then also highlight issues within the homeless community. That's amazing. So I know that when you go to each city, you panhandle, right? Do, you yeah. ask for money. Tell right. us about that whole process. So when I left my home on April 1st, I started with zero dollars and I had to panhandle to make it. And so I'll go to truck stops, gas stations, wherever I can, and I'll hold my sign for the day and try and make as much money as I can. Now with the money that I do make, I use it for three things. I use it for gas, for food, and then for helping others. So along the way, I've purchased 18 tents for the homeless folks. I recently raised nearly $400 to buy another homeless man a bicycle to get him back on the road. And we've done food, gas, gas cans, shelter, pretty much anything. And that's all been from the generosity of others. Have you conquered the goal you set out for in the beginning? Because you're about to wrap this thing up. Yeah, so I've got about two or three more weeks left, about 2,000 miles of travel. I've figured out kind of what I need to do to be successful. And that gas can on the back of my van, I've gotten about 300 gallons of gas. It's just right back here. Oh, I was like, where are we looking? Man. Oh. Oh yeah, there it is. I've gotten about 300 gallons of gas just in that, just on my travels. So when I go to truck stops, I'll hold my sign, huh. need money for gas. Thank you very much. I'll wave to people. I can get gas and money. And the cool thing is, 15,000 miles later, I'm right here in Seattle. Oh, I love it. Okay, and you live in Phoenix now. I you do. have a, a wife at I home do, yeah. waiting? Okay. So my wife and I have been married for 10 years. And through working in EMS, I... I've dealt with a lot of just really bad negative things and she really supports me going out and trying something new. And so for me, she, she knew that it was the right thing to do to let me leave my stable paying job <laughs> and live homeless for five to six months to film this documentary. That Hi. is so wonderful. So what is next for you? Um, so after I get home, I have a whole bunch of editing to do, but I've already begun raising funds for my next project, which is going to focus on uh, mental health and PTSD in our first responders. It's a topic that is not talked about enough. There's a ton of resources for our vets, but not for our first responders. Yeah. Oh, and that's yeah, very true. That that's true. very true. So this will all be a documentary that we can find at some point later. Absolutely. If you want to follow my project, you can go to Facebook. That's where I'm at mostly. Just search Jason's Most Excellent Van Adventures. <laughs> uh, you go on there, you can see everything. I mean, I've panhandled in a Santa Claus suit on Bourbon Street in New Orleans. I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff just to see what do people respond to. Right. Yeah. And I think it would be it would be really cool to see the experiences that you've had from other people that we can't explain here, just what has been going on. So I'm sure that documentary will be worthwhile to check that out. Absolutely. You know? I've, I've been blown away. I was told, hey, Jason, when you go to the South, you're going to be the clear-cut minority. Don't even waste your time. i got to tell you, that is a lie. We are more united than divided. I've been in communities where I was definitely the minority, and I've been taken in and treated very, very kindly. And that is awesome to be able to report that and share that today. That's amazing. My favorite thing about his whole rig here, he's got saddle or you've got uh, 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 solar panels and all that, but it's right here. The rug. The rug. You gotta yeah. have a little class, well, you know, when I you're going. You so this, you know? we're gonna Everybody needs we're gonna... To I'm a big guy. And so you gotta have a you gotta have a four foot pull out kitchen. Oh you know? man, oh, nice. going all the way. Yeah. Okay. Carried the lead. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much, you, man. Thank you guys. Thank you so Keep much. it going strong and uh, we appreciate you coming on the show. Awesome. Thanks for having me today. All right. Angela, I think we're gonna send it over to you.